Hello there and welcome to Adcraft. In today's video we've got something very special. We've got this large Japanese style house for you to build uh, in a full tutorial including the full interior so don't go anywhere so you don't miss out on that and let's get on with the build. To encompass the build you'll need a space of 23 by 32 blocks. Uh, the block palette for this will be in the world download which will be down in the description. Start by placing some dark oak logs uh, it, with gaps of 3, 3, 4, then 3, 3, 5 down the longest side and then 5, then 3, then 3 with the gaps on the shorter side. Then at the front we're going to be using some stripped jungle logs in order to make the veranda area and we're then going to be filling in the center area which is going to be the the zen's peace garden and that is going to be using some jungle stairs along the inside of that and the final thing we're going to be doing this in this stage is some stripped birch logs are going to be used as the uh, the matting on the inside of the build for the flooring itself now you can set the areas out any way that you want um, but try to kind of keep them slightly um, non-uniform. We're going to add the pillars for the build and these are going to be six blocks high and are going to be made of dark oak logs so place each of these where we've placed the dark oak log placeholders. We're going to add an additional bit of porch with the jungle at the side as well and then we're going to finally add some cross beams between these pillars at both four and six blocks high. Make sure as well to use the cross beams to link the exterior walls to the interior build. For the exterior walls, we're then going to fill in uh, using white concrete uh, in the bottom portion that we've created, but leaving the top middle of the blocks empty because we're going to fill those in later. And then we're going to come around for the exterior and fill in all of the areas. For the interior walls, we're going to do something slightly different. We're just going to fill in the two outside blocks uh, and you'll see why in a second. There are a couple more dark oak logs that needed to be filled in at the front of the base because those are going to support the roof later. And then following that, using jungle trapdoors, all of these gaps that we created in the walls and the sections between the, uh, the two sets of cross beams are going to be filled in with these jungle trapdoors. Next, using birch half slabs, fill in the top slabs to create a second floor. Uh, all of the area is going to be filled in with the exception of the middle courtyard section and the section at the back on the left, uh, which is going to form the stairway up to the second floor. A lot of Japanese builds are traditionally very open plan and they tend to have paper partitions. Now the closest thing that we've got to this is some birch doors in Minecraft. So in order to create some depth, we're gonna be placing some of these on either side of the edge of the dark oak logs um, to make it look like they've been slid open. Above these, we're gonna be placing some birch trap doors uh, in order to bring these to the full room height and give a, a full partition look. Uh, we may, you may need some temporary blocks in order to place these and then and also some crouch placing to get them in the right locations. Now feel free to place these uh, wherever you like throughout the build itself. Um, I've chosen these locations because I thought they looked quite nice and when you walk through the build later they give a, a good aesthetic. Um, also you can have a variation in how open or closed some of these are um, just to make it look more realistic. The next step is building up the roof. So we're going to put the entrances in first with some dark oak and some white concrete. Then we're going to use some spruce stairs to go around the build. For the two entrances, we're going to come out two sets of spruce stairs each way to give a nice overhang. 
uh, and then we're going to come down a half slab and go round the entire outside of the build. Outside of the first layer of half slabs, we're going to go down again another half a block and we're going to place a final layer of half slabs around the outside and this will complete the outside uh, edge of the roof before we start building this up. The next stage of the roof is a little bit more tricky as we're going to be building the very large A-frame that's going to go across the width of the build, uh, connecting the front of the build to the courtyard inside, which is a much wider span. So we need to build this up higher than the rest of the roof. We're going to be doing this by using an extra set of stairs and then going up two full blocks and then a final full block um, in order to create a higher peak. We're then going to start filling this in uh, from the top down and connect that up to the rest of the roof. Now when you get to the point where you get the final full block, this is the point that is going to connect up to the other peaks of the roof uh, and the other apexes of the roof. So we're going to connect that right the way around the build, all the way around the courtyard to create this fantastic pitched effect going down into that courtyard. Then it's just the slightly tedious task of actually filling in all of the stairs for the roof blocks. Now when you get to the, the two ends, make sure that you do uh, double up the width of the blocks and by that I mean filling in uh, the upside down stairs and upside down slabs inside in order to make sure that that's all filled out. And then as I say, just go round, making sure you put all the stairs in, making sure they all link up uh, right the way through to the courtyard itself. And in the middle of this, this courtyard, rather than going out two half slabs as we have on the outside, we're gonna go out a single half slab. The finishing touch will be a line of andesite walls going along the apex of the roof. Now finally to finish off the roof I'm going to fill in the gap that I accidentally left with these stairs and then we're going to complete the A-frames itself. So I'm going to put a line of full blocks against each of these sets of A-frames and then fill the gap with the jungle trap doors for a nice rustic look. Onto the interior of the build now, firstly we're going to finish off the courtyard. We're going to be doing this by taking some stone slabs and stairs and building all the way around a little pond, which is only going to be half a slab deep, before waterlogging these and filling it with some fish so that those will always be visible from wherever you're looking. Then put some sand and some stones to finish the look. The stairs to the second floor are going to be made out of birch and we're going to make these too wide and then add some spruce fences and fence gates as a support. We're going to have a raised sleeping area next uh, using some beds and some half slabs surrounding them to make them look like bed rolls on the floor. A blast furnace on top of a cauldron is going to be used for a little log burner with andesite walls pushing right the way through the roof and the floor to create a chimney stack. We're going to finish this off but to get some smoke with a campfire surrounded by some uh, dark oak trapdoors and a steel uh, trapdoor. Then we're going to create a little altar by surrounding a space with some crafting tables and putting a campfire underneath and a sea lantern for some light before surrounding that with some acacia trapdoors and placing on top an item frame with a chorus fruit in it and then a coral fan inside that. Then we're going to place a little shelving unit again using the trapdoor to create the shelves um, and putting some item frames on top so you can place anything that you wish. A casual seating area of placing a daylight sensor which looks uh, like a lovely little detail of, of the game Go um, surrounding that by acacia pressure plates. Some standing lamps are then created by the sleeping area by taking some sea lanterns and surrounding them on all sides with some acacia trapdoors. I added some support beams upstairs for the roof before adding a little seating area using some dark oak planks and some pressure plates. Then I went and decorated using some of the Japanese banner designs from my 10 Japanese banner designs video. Uh, if you haven't seen that already, make sure you do check it out. 
and then I started adding the little touches that um, can actually make the the, the base more uh, more user friendly. So things like some storage, some different crafting uh, elements, a whole bunch of furnaces up in the second floor, um, and also some dark oak fences uh, on the mezzanine and by the stairs. The final thing to do in the build was to light everything up and for this I was using the lanterns um, as they just suited the, the aesthetic of the build itself. Uh, it's worth noting that you can add some extra lighting in the floor underneath some of the dark oak if you wish uh, and then cover that with some brown carpet that lo still looks great. The very final lighting is going to be placed in the courtyard um, and now that that's done we can have a look at this in the vanilla textures. Um, it does look fantastic, it's just a slightly lower resolution than the texture pack that I use but basically the same so everything will still work whether you use a texture pack or not. So with the shader pack on let's have a look through uh, this build with all the lighting and it does look brilliant. Um, as you can see we come inside and we see the uh, the little altar with the incense burning and the, the smoke coming out of that. We have the koi pond there in the middle, the seating area for uh, food um, and then also our sleeping area over here all of which all of these little touches and details. Um, are survival friendly and would be useful for any base and then finally we're going upstairs to the storage and furnace area up here uh, which has got some lovely room for you to be able to put shulk boxes on yeah, in and load and unload the, those in the middle uh, so with that being said thank you very much for watching the video uh, please do make sure that you like and above all subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter at ADCraft as I'll be posting uh, updates on there about the um, future videos that we've got coming up. And uh, make sure that you also leave any comments uh, if you'd like to see more videos with interiors like this or anything that you'd like to see in the future on the channel. Uh, so I'll see you ne next time on ADCraft.